Good evening, Turtle Club. It is 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Well, looks like we got there by a couple seconds. And we are here to play some more Free For All Friday. This week's selection, once again, is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. We had a number of recommendations in our chat room today. We're, for the month of October, we're kind of doing it a bit more freeform, trying to get back into the groove. And we've got some plans for the way Free For All Friday is going to go. Hey, IKM Wolf Gaming, welcome, welcome. But we are, we're not quite ready to get that all launched and unveiled. We're just this close, this close. But we are going to be doing more Mario Kart 8 racing. So if you got a Nintendo Switch, uh, there is the friend code. We accept friend requests right before we start racing. And in between uh, what we call sets or heats. Uh, so we currently have no friends that are currently pending. We do have a few friends that are online. We just want to take a look here. Uh, Keo is currently playing Breath of the Wild. That's a good one. Dwy. Dwy is awesome. And Splatoon 2 has his Orchid. Let's see who else we got. Um, some of these individuals, they, they've they played on streams past. Uh, Yan and Diamondus, also Splatoon 2 players. I think all four of them are the same squad, if I remember right. Uh, let's see here. Some of these names we don't know, though. Steven! We do know Steven. Super Mario Maker 2. Okay. Uh, DB Master. Of course, real big in the actual Crash Team Racing right now. But we'll see what happens today. So we got no requests pending. But we do know a few friends that may be playing. Of course, as always, we give it about five minutes before we start up the actual races. We go for Mirror Mode Race. Four of those. Then we take a small break to get any kind of requests in, and then we do five random battles, and then we flip over and over again between those by accepting requests in between. All that information, of course, is above our heads as well. Uh, so if you ever have a curiosity as to how we're doing things, that's the best way to find out. We are going to do 200cc possibly today as well. We try to get that worked in. It's a two-hour stream, guys. Uh, usually somewhere in the ballpark about 8.30ish is when we start really thinking about that. Uh, it's real fun. <laughs> I usually lose really badly, but we'll see what's going on. The more I play this game, the more I get a little bit better, we think. But yeah, uh, just go ahead and pull up the friend request, guys, and just jump right in the room with us. It is a friends only room. We do that so the people that are here can actually enjoy playing with everyone. Now, the other thing, and of course, is we do have voice chat going on in our public stream room. If you are in, hey, Stephen Thompson, hey, how's it going, man? If you are in the Discord and you are a supporter level or higher, then that means that you are going to be able to voice chat with us. Otherwise, you can still pop in and get real-time voice from everyone that's there. Uh, which could be invaluable if you're racing or battling to know what people are talking about before the stream happens a few seconds later. We're super excited to play tonight, guys. We are we always we always love playing with our, our community. Uh, of course, we are taking recommendations in our Discord in general um, to see what people want to play. Uh, you know, it's been a while, so Mario Kart was a was a big staple for our group and our community a long time ago and just wanted to know you know if there's anything else that you guys are playing that you'd like to play you're going to do some stuff in ctr and you'll join all right well no worries db no worries man we saw you in in, in crash already I, I need to pick that up but but you know there's a few games that we would like to pick up but right now we're just trying to, to make it to, to san antonio so we'll see how that goes Mirror mode race. Doo -doo -doo. And if we don't have anyone in the in the first, oh, where we go? Hey, there's. I'm guessing that's Stephen, maybe. Don't quite recognize the name, other than me, but it could be Stephen. We can cheat, right? Go to the friends list and see who all is playing Mario Kart. If they got their stuff set. There you go. That's Steven. You are correct. I, I thought I might have been right. I was like, I recognize the me, kind of. But there's like four or five Turtle Club members that come in all purple. And so my, my brain doesn't quite track with all of them. Alrighty. 
So me and Steve will be kicking this off. I know Keo, um, he should be available. Uh, Posh might be coming in as well at some point. But I know Posh doesn't have his laptop with him right now. But that doesn't need, you know, you don't need a laptop for, for a Switch game, so. Alrighty, and we will be starting the race in just the next 35 seconds, because it trying to save some money for Luigi's Mansion 3. Oh. And Sword, obviously. Yeah, uh, that's the only game that I have uh, definitively marked to purchase because I have prior commitments with people involving Sword and Shield. Is I'll probably be getting Shield because uh, of the Stripe McLean. I'll probably be getting Sword, and we're going to be streaming that when it comes out on our non-family friendly channel. And that'll be... Uh, a, a series and I gotta be honest guys I'll probably play it to completion uh, I don't know about Stripe Stripe, Stripe's got an interesting work schedule so oh we just went over the 5 minute warning alright so me and Steven are going to get this going on we're going to go ahead and throw the easy computers in there since we only got the two of us racing and we will get this underway the catching tutorial can be skipped oh Interesting. I'll probably still do the catching tutorial because um, we'll be streaming it and I know people want to see it. Oh, Steven already picking my favorite Rainbow Road. I win either way. I win either way. There we go. Galaxy Express Rainbow Road. But I, I like the idea that the tutorial can be skipped. I, I have to I have to admit, I really have a lot of tutorial fatigue from Sun and Moon. Oh, I missed one. Uh, Oh, and I think... Oh, man. I adjusted my card again, so I'm going to have to get used to driving. And we're saving before getting the starters. Interesting. Okay. But what about the rumors of autosave? I haven't been to Cerebi... Yeah, so be in, in a bit. So, but the last thing I was reading up was that it looked like auto saving was a thing, and so that's a real big concern, depending upon how it all goes. Uh, that's a blue shell going for Steven. He's so far ahead that even though he gets hit by it, it probably won't even matter. That's one thing I do love about. Race with the Turbo Club is you guys are all super skilled at this game. Oh, Lightning Bolt, Lightning Bolt. Not a fan. Oh. Interesting. Ah, oh, I got close. That blue shell really did help me catch up a bit. There's auto save, you won't be happy actually. Yeah, I, I'm kind of right there with you, Keo. If there's autosave going on, it depends upon the autosave though, right? Oh, absolutely, GG, Steven, absolutely. Like if it's, yeah, I use uh, Cerebi as well for Poke Info, yeah. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Cerebi has been a big part of the Pokemon community forever, forever. It's, it's just amazing uh, the information they've been able to pull together for all these kind of games. And the the depth they go into, and the the how wide their coverage is. Like if Pikachu appears in a game, Cerebi covers it. It's been a long time, DB Master. Uh, long, long time ago. Like I want to say during Emerald, I had actual conversations with the individual online, but it's I don't remember their name. I mean, with all due respect, you know, Emerald was. 
many, many years ago. I almost got that. I almost got that. Joe. I wanted to say it was James, so I'm glad I didn't. Now I'm trying to remember who, who James is. Sure enough for him. Oh wow. Way off the edge there. Yeah, at least my my interesting brain remembered it started with a J. Yeah, we had uh, several conversations involving the new Battle Frontier thing back when Emerald was coming out. hit the mushroom just right. Oh, we are so not going to win. Maybe we get a blue shell explosion at the end, so that was kind of cool. GG, Steven. GG. Started streaming this game. Three for three, Steven. Man, Yoshi Circuit. Try to remember this this course. This is one that doesn't get picked a lot. Looks kind of like Woohoo Town a little bit. Almost there. Ah, man. Ah. Oh, I got sideswiped and he got hit by the by the piranha plant. blue shell when you're in second place. Oh, I... Man, the ink! I swear that that was supposed to be that other drift. And lo and behold, it wasn't. Oh! Man, 
and that bomb hit myself with my own bomb. That's gonna cost me. Squid Ink. Man, squids are real. Go back to Splatoon, bloopers. Go forth, my red shells. Find Steven. Oh no, oh, Blue Shell will find Steven too, alright. Oh, oh, I was about to take the outside and there was a banana pill, probably placed by myself. GG, that was close, that was really good. That was real close, guys. Uh, all right, let's. All right. I know it was awfully close. That last little bit was was a lot closer than I thought it would be. Oh, oh, thank you. Choosing the course I've been trying to play for a bit. And it still chose Steven. Wow. Steven, four for four on the random course picks. But yeah, I'm, I'm still, like, with the whole Pokemon Sword and Shield guys. Uh, or as uh, me and Strepton calling it, Stick and Frisbee. We are... We're curious. Um, totally curious. If the autosave is going to be a thing, if it's going to be like your your save file is taken by the autosave, or if it's if it's going to be like Skyrim, I just got a huge boost from Bowser. Oh man. That's one of the reasons why I think I need to switch out of Junior Bowser. Me right there. Oh man. Oh, is Steven getting some bad oh, okay, no, that's that's a different browser. It's like is he getting some bad RNG from the NPCs? They're still teeny and tiny. Let me grow up. It's gonna be so close. Oh man. GG, Steven. GG. Missiles and crash. Uh, not very accurate. Oh, interesting. Oh, that's kind of no bueno. Oh, GG, Steven. That was that was some close stuff, man. Six points different.
six points difference. All right, we got Keo coming in here too. Awesome. After, of course, we don't remember seeing any requests. We don't have any requests waiting for us. All right. Pop over in here and hey. switch. Yep, Steve Digret. Random battle, no teams, easy comp, three minutes, five rounds, all vehicles, making sure we don't push in there. There goes your crown. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that, man. I don't know about that. I think the the grass cost you the win. Um, yeah, I was kind of surprised he hit the rough there. That that kind of slows you down a bit. But he had he had the drift going through. Yeah, <laughs> says hey, Digrat. <laughs> But if, if you if you're cutting through with a red drift or a, an orange drift through it, usually it's especially against me. I don't have the weight to cut through that grass that good, so it was not a bad ploy. First round, we got balloons as balloon battle. All right, two mushrooms, but use them too soon. Oh, see, yeah, you would have been fine with the mushroom. Oh, none of this. No, I don't want to be Banana Sniper. Banana Snipers usually don't win the balloon battle because bananas aren't a weapon. They're a comedy prop. <laughs> oh. And if you sideswipe somebody into a bomb, I kind of feel like you should get the kill for that. Like, what is going on, guys? Everything I do, I get a banana. It's like one of those jokes. Knock, knock, who's their banana? Getting the fire flower. All right. How did I get a baby Mario? Where my like banana landmines finally connect? left. Three shells fired off into the darkness. Not a single one hits. The way I hope to do it, Dig Rat, but it. Oh, I got hit by a Roy. Such an awesome name for an NPC in a game about high fantasy, if you think about it. Like, you got Iggy and Lemmy and, and Candy, and, and, and then you got Roy. It still ends in a Y. It still ends in a Y, Dig Rat says, and I don't disagree with that. Maybe you're saying it wrong. Maybe it's Rowie. Rowie? Ah. <laughs> uh. That was Well we'll take seven points though. We we haven't had, you know, something above two in a long time. <laughs> Alright. Oh good good games, good games. Oh, 
Oh no! Oh my god! Dragon Palace in the shine? Random course selection has betrayed me. This is like Keo's strongest event. Hoing is going to just rock this. I can already tell. Hey, Andrew! Oh, we just bounced all over. Alright. I'm doing fine. Hope you're doing good this, this evening. Oh, man. Kyo. I saw you coming for it, man. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. What am I going to play tomorrow? Well, we have a schedule. And we play Zelda on Friday and Saturday mornings. I don't even know who got that, but Steven got it. Everyone's covered in ink. We'll uh, do our best. Do our best. Oh, Steven. I don't think you had a chance on that one. A wall of green shells usually stops just about anybody. Oh, we are dodging things like, ah. Oh, Yeah, tomorrow morning we'll be playing our D with Lime series, which is our Ocarina of Time. Oh, we almost cleared the banister. I think Keo gets this one. He's just really good on the stage. Oh, last second. Baby Daisy of all things, okay. No digret. Huh. Interesting. So according to the wiki, Larry Koopa is the only Koopaling that's not named after a musician. And he was named this because he simply looked like Larry. That's pretty funny. Uh, Fortnite. Oh, we don't really care for Fortnite, Andrew. Fortnite is a game that we, we like games that involve skill more than luck, and Fortnite is very, very luck-based. Very, very luck-based. Uh, they are trying to change it, and they're, they're making some good changes. Um, I stole the shine, it said, and then Keo stole the shine. Ah. If only... I've only... Ah. Uh, but they're trying to change it, like... So that's the reason why people are kind of curious about why Chapter 2 had to happen for Fortnite. It's because they were doing a huge overhaul in the game. And they're trying to get it to where they can start doing it as an eSport. Oh, GG, guys. But yeah, Fortnite's not a recognizable eSport. It's not. Minecraft? We played Minecraft on this channel a number of times. But Friday night, as in right now, uh, CTR requires a lot of skills. It, it does. I've seen some people playing it, um, DB. But so Friday nights, we do a community game night, and we play games from anything uh, that the community is really interested in, and that's the community as a whole. And so if it's just a couple people wanting to play it, we're, we're trying to include as many people as possible. Like, case in point, I, I know Mario Kart will let us play with 11 other people at once. 
And so that's one of the reasons why it is Mario Kart tonight. We almost decided to go with the online NES Classics and SNES Classics. Uh, the other option we were going to go with, uh, barring that, was we were looking into uh, Rocket League. But um, Rocket League only allows, I suppose, just a couple people. Like not everybody has it. Hey, James Pronger. Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. However, it goes for you. Jackbox. Digress. Jigaret says we should play Jackbox. Oh, Luigi got me. Ah, uh, oh, Roy, Baby Peach, and uh, Cat Peach. Not Baby Peach. All right, Cat Peach just. No, wait. Maybe that's not Cat Peach. Maybe that is Baby Peach. All right. Yeah, Cat Peach is not our friend. Oh, we need to. Yeah. Go away, Cat Peach. We don't want to see you. We don't want to say hi to you. But yeah, the goal is to play with as many people as we can. Minecraft absolutely allows for that. You might go back to a different Switch profile? Okay. Oh, we got we got snagged. Okay. Oh, baby peach. Baby Peach. Baby Peach. Where are you? Where are you, Baby Peach? Help me, Baby Peach. You're our only hope. Oh. Oh, wow. That was like a full cage almost. It just got sprung. Stay away, Ludwig. Stay away. As I legit low key like just pass right by the cage. I don't even spring anybody. Ah, Steven. I just realized I'm the only human being on my team. Go team robot, go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Six seconds, five. I think we're good. I think we're good. GG, guys. Man, that was... I wasn't sure I was going to be on the winning side of that equation. Yeah, GG. What the French toast? Like... I'm not used to being that close to first place. I'm trying to figure out how the math works out on that. Because you got 20 bonus points for the shine. The robots are winning. The robots are winning, Degret says. I could buy that. I, 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 I don't disbelieve that. We saw the craziest thing, talking about robots and everything, guys. <laughs> yeah, Degret knows exactly where this is going. So, Digger and I, you know, we, we shop at odd hours because I sleep during the day. So, we went, the alienated one. Hey, man. Glad to see you. Glad to see you. Alienated one. How is the uh, Ace Pay Azer Lay going today? Playing Mario Kart 8? That's cool. But, so Digger and I were were shopping at Walmart last night, and at the hours we shop, they're banjo kazooie fan. All right, we are we're playing till nine o'clock tonight, so you got plenty of time. So while we're shopping at Walmart, you know, usually they are restocking the shelves and and they're you know milling about and cleaning the floors because there's always that one guy. That you know, as the stock person, who they say, well, you need to get on the the tile zamboni and go clean the tiles. So this thing's driving along, and we're not, you know, completely 
you know, unfamiliar with seeing it. But then we look at it again, and it has no driver. Walmart now has a floor cleaner thing that's a basically... A giant Roomba! It's a giant Roomba. <laughs> and it's funny, because if you look at it, it's got this camera on the front of it. And, because I was like, man, this is going to, like, run somebody over, and it's not going to be good, and there's going to be, like... I, I was, I was kind of, like... I was scared. Ace Pay, Ace Relay is quiet finally. Oh, okay. That's good. I don't know if Posh is lurking around, but if he is, he'll start asking questions about it soon. Not that he deserves to know, because he hasn't come to any of my streams, but alienated one, there may be a character leaving our stream tonight. Well, you heard it here first, guys. Degrat streams Skyrim at 9 p.m. And oh, that's right, 10 p.m. <laughs> we stop streaming at nine. Skyrim starts up at at 10, and there may be a character leaving the trio in Skyrim tonight. One can neither hope that it's Digrat or Fred. <laughs> oh, 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 it'd be really, really hard to get rid of Fred. He's the Dragonborn. Oh, but tonight, guys, there will be a character of the Diamond Trio of Lydia, Fred, and Digrat. Somebody's gonna die tonight. Someone's gonna die tonight, she says. It may not be who I want it to be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah, if you guys are okay with some non family friendly entertainment on our secondary channel, Unshelled, at 10 p.m. tonight, Digrat will be playing Skyrim for well, approximately an hour. The last couple of times it's been more like an hour and a half, so you always can get some bonus content with that as well. Down to one balloon. And if you divide one by half, you get zero because they round down and ah. Uh, at least it happened before the round ended this time. The last couple of times we played this round, we've been destroyed at the end of the round. Oh my god. 16 points for Keo. That one point difference between me and Keo, it's gone. <laughs> and Steven. Coming up from the back. Oh my gosh. I went from first to third. This is more this is more what I'm expecting. Oh, we got an interesting kind of Halloween looking Frankenstein face kind of thing, maybe. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. 16. I know, 16. That's a that's a pretty big score for this round. Do 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 do. Gruntilda. Oh, that's an awesome name. That's an awesome name. I get it now. It's like Brimhilda, Gruntilda, like the green faced witch with the. Oh, that's. Whoever's me that is, that is an awesome Halloween me, guys. If that's, if that's Banjo Kazooie fan, good job on that. And if it's not Banjo Kazooie fan, good job on whoever that was. Yay, Banjo Kazooie fan. Kazooie, yeah. Banjo Kazooie is coming to Switch for Smash. Or he's already there, maybe. I need to get back to playing. There's just too many games. One cannot play all the games. I've tried. Even if you don't have, like, gainful employment taking up your time, one cannot play all the games. It's just impossible. There's just too many now. Yoshi Banjo, hello. To see Yoshi play a banjo? That'd be kind of interesting, but I think uh, the name Degrad is more for Banjo Kazooie and Yoshi. Some people put their Smash Brother character names. Oh, did I miss the banana? I sure did. You beetle juiced him to join the stream. Okay. You might have. You might have. Ah. Uh. Of course, it could be also a combination of uh, Yoshi the Samurai and, and Banjo the Spaghetti Western character from Home Burgers. That would be interesting as well. 
I'm just getting wrecked. Like, I have been mugged by every single person in the stage so far. I'm Bowser Jr. Don't you know these coins are my allowance? Well, it could be your dog with a musical instrument. This is true. This is true. It'd have to be a rather small instrument. Your dog was... Uh, pretty miniature in stature, if I recall correctly. Oh. 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 Gruntilda with the star side swipe. That was... That was just fierce. Luigi how do we miss how do we miss an NPC we are the host computer <laughs> we are the host machine oh my goodness that was just way too much misses we're gonna end up with one coin we'll take it we'll take it <laughs> we got one <laughs> GG absolutely guys did we take bronze? Hey, we beat all the computer players! We're... We're good. A Gruntilda with eight points. Popping in for that last little bit there. Yeah, you're Gruntilda? Okay. A Gamer4206. Yes, we're having a good night. Thank you for, for popping in and seeing how everyone's doing. Alright, so we're going to go and check got any nope nope we do not have any new ones you may be mean and green and wishing you happy Halloween <laughs> I love it I love it all right we're gonna start the four mirror mode races got five of us in there when we get to eight players in either races or battles we drop the CPU sort of low and of course, about 8.30 tonight is when we're looking at pulling out all the stops and doing 200cc. Okay, let's, let's, uh, let's see if we can torpedo Keo here. <laughs> that kind of rhymes, torpedo Keo. Nope. All right. That's all right. Moo Moo. <laughs> oh. Okay, Banjo. Oh, okay. Well, good. I remember now. It it took my brain a long, long time. But like when Banjo was released for Smash, you changed your name. It's been so long. And I've slept so much since then that I had forgotten. What race is this? I, one I clearly don't know or understand. I, I just went like... Of course, the first thoughts when I don't recognize a course is, did I forget mirror mode? And so I go to read any of the text on the stage, which is always backwards in mirror mode, and then I'm like, nope, it's all mirrored, so we're good. That would be really funny if they do an actual reverse course, just normally, with reverse text in the next Mario part. But now that I remember who you are, because you reminded me, I hope everything's going great. Now, for those that aren't familiar, Banjo Kazooie fan is a athlete. I participate in many events in bowling and track and field, if I recall, as their two main events. Your thing is out of control. 3ds, I, I'm, and you, I apologize. I'm still not following the tracking that. Oh, here we go. Bullet Bill time. 
Can the Bullet Bill at least get me to 7th place? 6th place, I'll take it. And a Golden Mushroom? Oh yeah, we'll take a Golden Mushroom. Golden Mushroom. Okay, that's definitely an NPC because Steven drives a lot better than that. It's like, that looks like Steven's avatar, but nope. Alrighty, and boom. Fly, dodge all the mushrooms in fifth place. Hey, your thing is out of control is 3DS and Nintendo Switch. There's some grammar in that sentence that I'm sure is maybe a typo, and I don't know where it is. I don't know. Well, Angie's not playing with us that I that I realize. Because it's about to be picked by somebody, I'm just going to choose it. Maybe maybe it'll actually fire off. Maybe it won't. The Bone Dry Dunes. Such an interesting stage. We don't play it anywhere near a lot, though. I like when people come in and just throw random all the time. It shows a lot of confidence in their ability to race, too. It's like, ah, I don't have a course that I choose all the time. And of course, if I if I drift with the turn, we actually get faster. We drift against the turn, bad things happen. Oh man, the piranha plants are skeletons. This this is definitely a Halloween course if I ever saw one. Oh, DB Master's getting in here now, too. I recognize the boo and the name. The name helps. Like, when the name's above your head, it usually helps a whole lot. second. Oh, here we go. There's a gift for first place. Oh. <laughs> I ran into a skeleton. It's a road hazard and it's just fun to watch them explode. Oh, Steven with the reverse green shell. Oh. I know why you did it. I just wish you had it. a pretty rough course. There's like hazards everywhere. Dangerous spots on the track. That is definitely a shortcut in that course if we're not gonna be able to hit it. Boom man we finished. And we do have a friend request pending, guys. We do accept friend requests, as above my head says, after we finish each set. So we are going to get that after the set of races is done. And then we'll move right into battle mode. Then after that battle mode, we'll have a brief intermission, and then we'll have the 200cc. Boom. Ooh, 
SNES Rainbow Road being selected. That's a good race too. Had a puppy interference. <laughs> oh, puppies, man. Oh my gosh. I, when I was growing up, my father raised hunting dogs and they got to be puppies for about a week. And then afterwards they were hunting and training. Tried to make your face all green. It's, yeah, it, it's, it's really good, Banjo. It's really good. But yeah, so I, I definitely understand the, the puppy interference thing. And then when Digret and I uh, were in Oklahoma, we had four cats. Um, cat interference is a real thing. Uh, we had one of them chew through the AV cable on the Nintendo GameCube. So that that's a thing. It didn't quite break through all the wires though, so it still works. It's just got a lot of electrical tape on it to make it do that. Oh, it's so twisty and windy. Oh, I got... Oh, someone popped my bolt. Oh, man. that just That's just a lot of feel bad right there. I, I love the little, like, raving piranha plants, though. They get the strobe-colored lights and everything. Oh, that, that, um, uh, rose metal peach landed on me, like, twice now. I think an NPC has it out for me. Let's, let's go to the pink road this time. Everybody seems to be on the pink road. What's the pink road got in the green road done? Oh. I don't know, actually. Hey, there we go. Pull the bill over that gap. Let's see if somebody tried to knock me out of that. Oh, lightning bolt. Like, right at the last second. That was rough. Such an awesome level, though, with the way the music notes and everything get involved. I don't know who that red shell might find, but it's going to find somebody. Found Steven. Oh. We're getting closer to the finish line. We will take fifth place, it looks like. Oh, GG, guys. GG. Song stuck in my head. I can only sing like two or three words though, because otherwise copyright strike. Apparently, apparently, like there was a streamer, I, one of their videos posted where they were singing a song and they've got a good singing voice, and they got copyright striked for singing the song on video. I thought that you, if it's considered a parody, you if it's considered a cover. You have to tag your whole video as a cover for that one song. And, yeah. Yeah, I know, right? Yikes. So I'm like, okay. I can, like, hum a little and I can, like, beep out a bit. But YouTube getting serious, apparently. Or certain... It may be certain, you know, music uh, labels may be getting serious, though. Because that's equally a, a thing, right? It, the copyright thing system is based upon who owns the original material and so if they're if they're lenient if they're okay with their fans and stuff then it's like yeah sure whatever like I would imagine that Weird Al Yankovic probably cool with his fans like singing his music just because of the media and the, the medium and in general that he deals with right but I don't know maybe he's like hardcore serious about it but I would. 
Oh, that's true, Digress said someone may have just flagged the video for copyright that doesn't like who they are. Yeah, that's a possibility. And then there's always there's always just troll companies out there. Um, that's the number one music copyright um, situation that comes up on our channel is we get random overseas companies flagging our video for copyright. And it's like, we own the rights to this, and you must um, take the video down. And I look at it, and it's like, this is a company that you've never heard of, and we never heard of them, and they are flagging this little piece of the video where it's just me talking, and you can't even hear the game in the background. I'm like, nope, that's me. <laughs> you, you don't own me. You may act like it. But yeah, and though on the bright side, uh, YouTube supposedly is going to be toning down on the manual copyright stuff. Oh, we just got a Crazy 8? We'll use every single thing in the Crazy 8. And still not be able to drive straight, so that would be a problem. Man, this, this, uh... New cart setup we got is just nuts. All I did was increase my weight by like a point. Oh, that's a blue shell and it's going for somebody else? That was that was fine. We're fine with the blue shell going to somebody else. They must have just crossed the finish line. GG guys. And Good gosh, first, second, and third, all separated by like 10 points. But knowing that Gruntilda is secretly Banjo-Kazooie fan, who is Vulcan Me, that's not surprising. Vulcan Me is a real good racer. Banjo-Kazooie fan, good games, guys. We have a friend request. We're going to go and accept that friend request. Add friends. Who's the friend? Braden Kins. All right, Braden. Become friends. Uh, Anju, we are not playing Minecraft right now. We have discussed this already. Uh, oh, thank you, Yoshi Banjo. GG on that. All right, guys. We're going to go random battle, easy computer players. Um, looks like we've lost a few people. We do lose some people when we go to battle sometimes. We lose some people when we go to to races sometimes. All right. Do you think someday Rarol will come back to Nintendo with new games? So it's, it's, you know, that's a good question. And it's kind of difficult to say for certain because Rareware was bought by Microsoft. Microsoft bought Rare. That's the reason why Killer Instinct, which is another Rare game, is on Xbox and nowhere else. And so, I know Microsoft and Switch, Microsoft and Nintendo, they're real buddy-buddy. But... I don't know how buddy-buddy they are. But it'd be great to get some new Rare games, like... Uh, all sorts of things. That friend request just came in at the last second. We're gonna go ahead and grab it. It may drop the. It may drop the. Uh, it may wind up dropping the race, guys. And hopefully it doesn't. All right. It looks like we got Anju as well as a friend. Okay. All right. Thank you, Turtle Club, for not. Just totally obliterating me. What are we doing? Coin runners, if I had to guess. Yep. All right. When you go to the, the friend screen in Mario Kart, if you're in the middle of a race and you're the host machine, it can drop everybody. The Nintendo apparently doesn't have enough oomph to do both at one time. Hey, Sally! I'm glad it's just not me. There's like three or four streamers last night that I normally would like hang out and say hi to and stuff, and I got zero notifications for them. All 
right, let's see if we can't just go over and get some of these safe coins. Nope, there are no safe coins. The cake that we're on, it's a lie. Oh. All the, all the items are just fig newtons of my imagination. Try to get a few more coins. Definitely not just me. Yeah, it was... And, like, one of the streamers that we follow a little bit right now is Flapper, um, Ernie, as he's known to be. And he's another fellow overnight person. And so I usually have a real good opportunity to see his streams. And he raided us this morning. And I was like, man, I don't even know what he was playing. Because YouTube didn't bother to tell me that he was live. And we had a pretty good amount of people in this morning's stream. We had Ernie, and we had Kenny, and Chadley, um, Keo. Didn't go in this morning either for Ocarina of Time. See, that's, that's so weird. It must be YouTube just having a bad day. I was, because, like, I was thinking it might have been just my connection in general. But I'm glad it's not. <laughs> like, my Discord, right, really went weird, too. Like, there was a Discord update, and when I got into it, every single room said it had a new message for every single Discord I was in. Which, like, after the third or fourth one I was looking through, and I'm, you know, I'm part of, like, 50 Discords... I was like, I can't go check all these all these rooms and all these discords, so I just marked them all as red. I felt bad for it. <laughs> like, really? Like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> but, um, there is this band you listen to made a mashup of a bunch of their songs. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, there's been a couple of those like that. Um, you love to see old rare games on the. Oh, that would be cool. Like the SNES Online thing. Um, hmm. Rare replay on the Switch would be great. I think that would be a good collection they could put on there, and a lot of people would go for it. A lot of people would go for rare, rare replay on Switch. Like, the original Killer Instinct on Switch would be amazing. Of course, it would need better controls a little bit. Like, uh, Hori, H-O-R-I, made, they've made a new Joy-Con set. Uh, it's really good for, like, fighting games and precision games supposedly. Uh, reviews seem to be good for it. And there's, oh, this is not go around and beat people up. This is go around and beat one person up. Okay, I can do that. Probably. Yes. Oh, and Kyo is about to get away. Usually if it's beat one person up, it's beat up Kyo. Oh, there's Keo. There he is. Oh, and he just he just snuck by me. I think we're doomed. I think Keo. Oh, someone someone tagged him. Someone tagged him. Oh, did I get it? No, Toadette got it. Oh, Toadette is public enemy number one. Oh, that's okay. No worries. No worries. And of course, Turtle Club, if you are in our Discord, uh, we are taking some recommendations on what to do for next week's Free For All Friday. The only thing that we do ask is if these games are to be played, that there be a, a, a uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A large amount of people that can join in. 
either by game availability or just by the game's natural inclusion ability. Yeah, that'd be cool, Banjo Kazooie fan. I, I'm just thinking of like doing Donkey Kong Country now online with two players, so like DK2. That'd be fun. Or Battletoads. The original Battletoads. That'd be awesome, also. Oh. Did somebody get the shine? Anybody? Baby Luigi did? Baby Luigi, I want your shine. When I look at Baby Luigi. Alright, I was invincible for a little bit, and I. And then I wasn't. <laughs> oh, goodness. Eight seconds left on that King Boo. That's Braden. Braden's rather good at this. Oh, I'm trapped in a corner. Get me out of this corner. Oh, oh. Keo. Oh, man. That's the last five seconds are going to haunt him. Wow. Okay, that bounced on my head. Everybody saw it, right? The whole internet should have saw that. Oh, that was, that was devious. That was devious. That was like insidious how that went. Threw that, that bomb with really good accuracy right where everybody was going to be. Oh, Grintilda. I had the shine for a second and then I... What? Oh my gosh. That was, that was violently vicious. Oh my gosh. GG on that. I have never lost the shine within a second. That was amazing. That was amazing. Yeah, GG. Like, I got it and then just dropped it. And Turtle Club again. Uh, just two things after this set. It's a mag! Tato! Hey! Glad to see you, Tato. If you guys don't know who Epic Potato Chip is, he is an awesome streamer. He is not a family-friendly streamer, so throwing that out there right away. But he does a lot of the same content as far as game choices as everyone we know and love does. Uh, some Mario Maker, some Mega Man. Um... Of course, Mario Kart is one of those as well. Uh, but as we were saying, uh, right before Tato popped in to say hello and just made me go shiny squirrel. Um, oh wait, this is Cops and Robbers? What am I doing? I need to like focus on hiding. Get away, leave me alone. Why are all the cops red instead of blue? What's going on? The world doesn't make any sense. Um, but... Uh, after this set, Super Smash tomorrow. Anju, we have said several times what the, the game choice uh, system works for Friday nights between 7 and 9 is when we do a group game on stream. Alright, we just got tagged. It is in the description for the video. Wow, we all got caught. That was super fast. But after this set of battles, guys, we're going to have a brief intermission, and then we're going to come back after that intermission. will be the 200cc race. So these are going by rather quickly. Um, that was super fast. Shines have been down. Uh, we, we actually might be just about done with the battle meds. I'm trying to think. I might be having flashbacks to the last battle set where we got... We got just completely snapped around. Oh, thank you for that link there, Sally. We do have a Discord, and we do have voice chat for anyone who is a supporter or higher in the Discord. 
If you are not a supporter of hire, you can still jump in and you get real-time voice. So if you need to hear what I'm saying, like if I'm sneaking around, try to snipe people, or anybody else for that matter when they come in. Balloon battle. We got a point. We're on the scoreboard. Not for long, though. We know how this battle goes. Alright. We hit a shy guy. He got shot by a turtle shell. That might be why he's so shy. Oh, Toadette. You have plagued me all throughout this battle series. Pretty sure I was gonna get right my toe out again. Oh, Keo, okay. Whoa. That was not what we was expecting. We were expecting to get a feather there from Keo and, and we didn't. We, we got a balloon popped. And Tilda and Graydon duking it out there. See if we can't. Oh. At least we popped a balloon and didn't get popped for our trouble. Look at this. Look at this. Double boomerang action. Oh. Boomerang snipe. Boomerang snipe. Boomerang. Oh, into the star power? Oh, baby Luigi, smarter than me. Alright. Double balloon, uh, double boomerangs. Rather nice, though, I gotta admit. Pop right in there. Oh, we got 52 seconds left. All we have to do is hold on to our last two balloons, and we'll get seven points out of this. Makes us feel pretty good. I do know what would make us feel a little bit better, though. If we were to come over here and do this. Oh my gosh. It was worth it. It was worth it. Oh, you got chocolate milkshake. Okay, that's cool. Chocolate milkshakes are pretty tasty. Uh, we are not trolling people, Digrat, but we did eliminate Steve from the competition. Ha. Like, sidelined him. That's what he gets for hating horses. That's what he gets for hating horses, she says. <laughs> Digrat's like, that one's for Fred. <laughs> oh, GG, guys. GG. Oh, man. Got a little crown, a little bitty baby dance at the end there. Oh man, who is she? Who is Digrat? That's my wife. Wife of 17 and a half hello, years hello, almost. Hello. Oh, we have voices. Who's here? Hawk! What's hey up? man, not much, not much. We are just getting some battle mode going on. Fair enough, mate. Yeah. Um, Anju, she's my wife. Married June 25th of 2002. You know, if horses had more ninja-like aspects, they'd be useful. <laughs> I, I don't disagree. Because it's they would be more useful. Because they are useful. And Sally says hi, Digret. Twenty nineteen has absolutely gone by. All right, cool. Sorry, I'm I'm t talking on team speak as well as talk. Uh, think your voice dropped out. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's all good. Yeah, Halloween is right around the corner. I know a lot of people are excited about that. 
Uh, Halloween is one of those weird things around here. Like, if you live in a house in a good neighborhood in the Atlanta area, then you'll get trick-or-treaters. If you live in an apartment in a good area, you might get trick-or-treaters. But it's it's really odd. Um, hey. And Digret and I, we, we might be like, I don't know, we must have like a, rep a reputation for being scary or something, because I'm trying to think, have we ever had trick-or-treaters, Digret? Like, no, 17 years marriage, not a single trick-or-treater shows up to our door and rings our doorbell for candy. <laughs> oh, Stephen Thompson, oh, that's, that's no bueno. Internet going weird for a second, that... That can definitely ruin your day if you're playing online. Digrat, you don't bake kids in the pies. In public. Oh, it, yep. It, Halloween will be October 31st. That is correct. And I, I am... I'm predicting it'll be on October 31st next year as well. But... It doesn't get celebrated around here on the 31st. It's it usually like... It's normally like 90% quiet on Halloween. Oh yeah. Because not many people in the UK even decorate their houses. Oh wow. See, I, Yeah, it's pretty depressing it's, if you think about it. It is kind of odd, cons considering that like all of the, the Halloween tropes and stuff, the decorations, the whole premise, Kind of originated in the UK. So Oh Com Eric, oh wow. I mean I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna be celebrating. I'm gonna oh, be dressing up as as Pepsi Man for Halloween. Yeah. Uh Red, hey man. I missed you. Yeah, Digrat, a lot of the Al Hallows Eve stuff started in the United Kingdom. It was mainly Yep. I don't know why. It seemed to have so Halloween in the UK just seemed to have dipped somewhat mm. in the early 2000s or something. It kind of did the same thing in the states. Um, like in the early 90s, mid 90s, there was all those uh, residual scares for people and their kids getting like you know bad candy. The old um, it never happened. Yeah, you, know, you always heard of someone who heard of someone that there was a chocolate bar with a razor played in it or something and then of course there's you know the real thing involving um, just the fact that we got a lot of kids it's hard to keep up with them there are people out in the world that aren't really friendly or nice people so you get that kind of residual same thing you get for any large crowd type environment oh GG guys I, I get the uh, the nice try clap so there's that <laughs> what are you going to be doing after battle mode uh, we're going to be doing 200 CC, but I'm going to take a brief intervention, and so right. I'm sure you'll be popping in for that. But yeah, guys, we're going to be taking about a five-minute break. I'm going to let everybody see what we're about to get on. Oh, you get about five minutes, Hawk. All right, so guys, I'm going to be back. There'll be a brief intermission, and we will be here for the 500 CC race, or not 500, 200 CC race. All right, see you there in about five minutes, guys. Ooh, 200 CC. Oh yeah. You know how much I've been practicing this. Fair enough. Oh hey chat. Uh, yeah, sorry, I'm talking to my friend on TeamSpeak.
and we're back. It sounds like uh, Hawk was entertaining you guys with some some whistling there. Ish, ish, ish. <laughs> uh, whistleish. That's that sounds like an interesting language. Hmm. All right. Well, guys, we are here at the 200 CC race. We're gonna give it just a few more minutes because I did say it was gonna be five minutes, and that was actually four. So we're going to give it just a little bit longer, so everybody that's going to... Oh, is it just the four of us? It looks like it's just going to be the four of us, so there will be some computer players as well. 200cc, a lot of people like it, a lot of people... I love it. Me well, and my yeah, friend, you... who, I'm, who I'm talking to on TeamSpeak, uh, play it a lot. A lot of it. Now, I uh, actually, I think, Hawk, if I think back, way back last, in like Turtle Club last... history, you were one of the oh. first people on the channel who were like we should do 200 cc and i was like i don't know <laughs> seems like it'd be awfully fast yeah, yeah i was oh man I, I remember now i remember all right let's see we got one discord notification ah looks like we had someone who tried to join the server and didn't know how to read the rules that happens okay so we're all set oh gruntilda she's in the voice chat with us now too Always good to do, even if you don't have the capabilities to, to chat. Always good to do just to pop in and hear real-time data. That's that's super important. Oh, but but Gruntilda's getting hungry according to chat, so we might have I a small eat. advantage. Go eat. We'll, we'll be fine without you. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. Oh, I I know what I'll do. I'll, I'll throw up. I'll throw up the park. 200 cc baby park. You want to talk about a crazy mess of a of course? All you do on that one is just go in a really, really fast circle. It looks like we had five people and one dropped out. Yeah, I think someone level, dropped out. Yeah, it might oh. have been Keo. Oi, 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 oi. <laughs> oh, Rainbow Road, 200 cc. All Americans versus one British guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. But we're all over the country, though, so our, our internet isn't as good as you would think it is. Hmm. It, it looks like, uh, yeah, we, we did have somebody timed out on the channel, and it looks like it is a permanent timeout. Rules are important, guys. Especially that big one that says yep. not reading the description is a good way to get banned. Yeah, it means that if you keep asking questions that we've answered over and over again, Especially with the answer to the description. Boy, I, I, I changed Considering my card. This is 200 CC. Everyone's going to lose. Not everybody. Somebody's going to be across that finish line. Oh. I do like the fact that on 200 CC, though, that when you hit the ramp on this course, you're usually going fast enough to pass it no matter what. Oh, come on. I gotta get better at that uh -oh. drift breaking thing he's talking about. Uh, you know, 200 CC, I'm like usually like gun shy about using mushrooms and stars. Because too fast, I can't stay on the course with them. Oh, that was funny. But I guess I might as well just use the star power now. Oh, pull the bill toward the end. Done. Yeah. I'm, I'm, it looks like second place is Gruntilda. Oh, I was watching the course and I just flew off the edge. Like, I, I was bullet billing it, so I was like, hey, I got auto tracking first. Nope. Alright, another bullet bill. There we go. Across the. Eh, we'll take uh, ninth. Wow, we just got. Someone beat the bullet bill over the finish line. Cooper, oh dear. An NPC beat the bullet bill over the finish line. Wow. That's. That was. That was. Uh, that's about par for the course showing for me. I'll, I'll. I'll take it. GG on that race, though, guys. That was. Yeah. <laughs> I know, Red. Oh, no. Not Baby Park. Yes, Baby Park. I'm choosing no it every park. single time. It's no. going to be chosen every time, Hawk. It's going to happen. Possibly. Uh -uh. Mount Warrior is not a bad course. It's like straightforward. 
Like, it's just a downhill slide the whole entire way. At the very beginning of the stream tonight, it was me and Steven uh, Thompson, and we were racing, and every single course that Steven picked was what got chosen. It was so kind of funny. I missed how, um, how many races were we doing? Uh, four. Four, okay. Yeah, four races on 200cc. At least that's what I think that we chose. There was that weird time that I accidentally hit the back arrow and it wound up being like 24 races on 200cc. Which, let me tell you, you'd think it'd go by fast and you'd be wrong. <laughs> because it was it was some really, some really hard coursework. Like, I think there was one... Uh, we had the computer player still in, so it was like five of us and seven P NPCs. I don't remember the course, but like one of the courses an NPC actually took first on easy. I was like, oh my gosh. What Trust did we me, get that ourselves into? To me and my friend a lot when we're playing MK8. What's even worse is getting struck by lightning twice within oh my gosh. two seconds. That That's rough. That's, it sucks. It is definitely one of those things that's not. Not fun. Oh, oh, speak of the devil. Yep. Yoink. I I have star power, so I was good for it. If you would get like just a split second audio cue, haha, <laughs> Sally, I fear you might remember watching that. It was like, wait a second, who won? Oh, that's 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 an NPC who won that on easy. Okay. Rainbow Road, 200 CC, so easy an NPC wins. I was like, not really. But yeah. Oh, and I'm just... So hey, it's an easy course. It's just all downhill and straight. And meanwhile, I'm hitting like every single wall. Here we go. Hi, whoever's in second place. I think that's Green Tilda. Uh, uh, Gruntilda's Banjo Kazooie fan, who used to be Vulcan Me, and she is extremely good at this game. Uh, but Who's Red? May... Red. Oh, be right back. Oh, All Red right, the Red. Fox. Yeah, Red the Fox. Red the Fox one thirty nine. Baby Park. Baby Park. Everyone choose something else other than Baby Park, just so <laughs> he doesn't get it. Oh, I don't know, Gruntilda, Gruntilda's with me on this. She's got random chosen, but in her heart, she wants Baby Park. <laughs> oh. Um. Redhead, step away for a second. Oh, yeah. So we're just waiting for a selection. You should just go with it instead of avoiding it. After this is over, you're going to get some food. All right. Welcome no. back. Brad. No. Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> Park. Yes. There goes Hawk's Run. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, Baby Park is so amazing, in my this opinion. Be Baby Park's the worst track. I don't agree with that. It's very basic and straightforward. No, it isn't. It is, it's you just like, go right. It's a short version of uh, Excite Bike Arena, except with a lot of... A, it's a bit of a cluster. It is a bit of a cluster, you're right. That's that's the reason why I like it, though. Everyone overtaking each other and stuff. You don't know that for a fact. You've lapped people. Like, I've, I've lapped somebody like six or seven times on this course before. If you want to practice drift breaking, this is definitely the course to do it on. You get to drift like every three seconds. Nah, this place takes no skill at all. I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't disagree. And it's a lot shorter. I can't disagree unless you're good at dodging weapons, and that's a good skill to have. Because there's a lot of weapons being thrown around in this course. But yeah, from in competitive play, Baby Park is one of those that is not actually on the menu for this way. Oh, I almost booed somebody's blue shell. Despite that, I get first place. Hey, <laughs> GG, man. 
I got third. Okay, it wasn't that bad as all the other rounds I've played. Well, you probably used to play in like the mirror version, and I don't know what it is about going left instead of going right on this course, but it seems to increase the craziness. Like, I can't swear it, I have no scientific data, but it just feels like, in my heart, <laughs> when you're going the other direction, the course is just totally nuts. Oof, that's that's right, Red. That was that course gets people a lot. So now that we've had Baby Park happen, we'll we'll take it off Baby Park on my selection. Let's see here. That's a good course to pick. Nah, I don't have any tracks based on Metroid. Which banjo game do I like the best? Um, the N64 version game, like the the original, was probably my favorite because they really, back then, tried to push the envelope with the humor they were using. And that was what made banjo in, in my mind, right? Because that's what it won. The, oh, this, this one on 200cc? This is going to be rough. But in my mind, that's what made Banjo series the Banjo series. And so, it was just, I think it's because the, uh, what they call the honeymoon period with video games, right? The first time that you're there, and it's just amazing, and it's different, and it's refreshing. And so that kind of sticks in your head a lot. I, I think that's why I, I have a fondness in my heart for the original Zelda, because it was the first Zelda I played. Um, but also the reason why I love Ocarina of Time so much is because it was the first really, really top-notch Zelda I ever played. No offense to Link of the Past fans, because it was a good game, but it wasn't as transformative in my opinion as Ocarina. Though as far as rare games go, like one of my favorite rare games-ish, if you can call it that, I would have to say uh, Battletoads versus Double Dragon was really, really good. Or Battletoads and Double Dragon, the ultimate team, depending upon which console you're playing it on. That one was really, really ridiculously hard, but it was also fun. Of course, Battletoads is just known to be ridiculously hard. They helped um, totally cement the, the term Nintendo hard. That was not a rental game. You had to go out and buy that if you wanted to beat it. It's probably the worst usage of a golden mushroom ever. I just humped the wall the whole entire time while using it. Green shell and into the water I go. Oh, that was just a great bullet bill for red there, right across the finish line. Oh, GG on that, guys. <laughs> the worst banjo game people say was Nuts and Bolts? Yeah! Oh, third place. I'll, I'll take third place on 200cc. That's... All right, so we've got about 25 minutes left after the 200cc race is usually the sudden death battle mode. And we got enough time for 15 rounds for sudden death. Let's go ahead and fire that up. Food time. All right. Good night. Oh, thank you, Banjo Kazooie fan, Volk and me, Gruntilda. This will be a an interesting 15 rounds of battle. <laughs> One minute timers. So technically, if you think about it, right, we usually do five rounds at three minutes apiece. We're still playing the same amount of battle. It's still 15 minutes. It's just the strategy gets really different. A really different strategy when you're 
on one minute rounds. screen and trying to avoid everybody else is a slight bit of a better strategy. At least for me it is. You know, if they do a Mario Kart 9 sometime soon, they should be like adding Tom Nook and uh, Mr. Reset into the game. I think that'd be awesome. That's what Mr. Rossetti should do in retirement. This is a retiring Mr. Rossetti character. Okay. GG. That was mm. that was interesting. That was definitely some some points on the board. No double digit score, which speaks it's anybody's game still. Red got that. Wait, is that red or is that... You're the yellow me, aren't you? Pardon? You're in the yellow, right, Hawk? Yeah. Okay. I had a, 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 a complete brain lapse for a second there. I was like, wait, who's red? Who's yellow in... Wait, red's not yellow. Red's purple. And that's that's the way my brain operates with words like that, guys. And when the, when the me's name is a color, it makes it even... The bomb blast. Ugh. Suit dance icon going out there somewhere. I still need to finish those other emojis. I've never point blanked a bomb to somebody before, but that was kind of fun. Oh, Hawk, you were hiding like right there. <laughs> I tried to get one. I know if you hit it at the right angle, you can actually throw a bomb right up there. GG on that, guys. I'm hiding like I'm in an artillery precision. It's not a bad strategy. It isn't, because you can waft those bombs pretty far. Yeah, it works differently to, to uh, different modes. It does. The, the bombs themselves operate differently as well. And it's almost smarter sometimes in the bomb blast to just drop the bombs when you're hiding somewhere like that like right where you're at because the explosion can actually splash and hit people some balloon battle all right balloon battle here we go almost got you uh, twice and then I got myself okay I almost think you should get a point for hitting yourself Nintendo doesn't agree with me though and there's red and we missed red
kind of used to like going after the Breath of the Wild Link wherever they are because Kyo's always playing Breath of the Wild Link. Yoink. Yeah, that was impressive. Yoink. I saw all three of those bananas like fly at you a couple seconds ago. Oh, GG. I got one. I'm okay with my one point. Shine Thief is going to be just messy. <laughs> I just I watched the stream. Ah. <laughs> and guys, remember, hey, we are ending the stream as close to 9 o'clock as this lets us go for the sudden death battle mode. And then at 10 p.m. tonight on our Unshelled channel, which you can find by saying exclamation dig rat or exclamation unshelled in the chat digger will be playing skyrim and it is supposed to be a really good episode tonight she's looking at some cost reduction in her overhead oh i spawned right in front of the shine again oh wow oi come back here Oh, oh, I see that, that, that boo just kind of running off with your shine there. Oh. Yoink, oh. Come here, boy. Oh, oh, oh. I call all sorts of shenanigans. And it better pick up the phone. Okay, we gotta run away. Run away. Run away. Oh, sugar cones, protect me. Sugar cones, protect me. Red shells, protect me. Oh, piranha plant just wrecked me. <laughs> oh, you're oh. not getting those item boxes. Go away. I did get the item boxes. Oh, oh, no, no. Hawk's got the shine. He's a better driver than I am. It's gonna be difficult. It's gonna be really difficult. Oh. Ooh, you got the speaker boxed. That's rather rude. And then a star power that Luigi steals it from you. Oh, that's even ruder. Oh, did I pick it up after? I did. I got the. I got the invincibility damage. Oh, hit that mushroom that's just laying on the course. Oh, oh. Yeah, looks like just you got this one. Yep. Oh, man. GG, guys. GG. And I'm only six points ahead right now. <laughs> that's the worst part. Like, uh, Shine's like, here you go, Shine 20 points. Like the worst place for this map. It's, yeah, this one in, uh, I think Dragon Palace is bad for it, too. But. Keo, that's his favorite course. Like Dragon Palace, there's like three different out of the five different course types uh, or battle types. Speaking oh of Dragon boy. Palace, oh yeah. Who? Oh, you're on your own. It's me in red and it's you. So you're gonna be cops or robbers? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I'm the Looks... cop. Oh, you're the cop. Oh, that's rough. That means I can't camp. You can't Yikes. camp. You can't. And you got just oh, one minute. Go. You got just one minute. You think you know where to go? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, I don't like that. I don't like my hiding spots all being like totally known by people. Oh, leave me alone! Leave me alone! Uh, Red got the Red opened the cell right before I got caught. Oh, come on, Red. Come on, Red. Come on, Red. Hide. Hide. For the next 25 seconds, hide. You think I don't know where you've gone? Me? Well, you can come find me. I don't mind. I'm, I'm right here in this cage. <laughs> I was caught a while back. Oh.
and such a rough, such a rough game on on sudden death. Yeah, mode. one minute is definitely not enough. One minute's hard. I mean, it's happened before. Like we've had we've had um, this particular mode on the old school N sixty four course, the Super Nintendo course. Uh, we've had it actually over in like twenty five seconds once, and we all had no idea what just happened. It's like, wait, what? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that happened. Okay. The GG, that was... Um, it was anybody's game for a second. And then... Oh, oh coin runners. Okay. Hmm. And I've seen someone break double digits in a minute on coin runners before. It's usually Keo. He's surprisingly good in that little bitty super speed bike of his. Just zips around, grabbing all the coins and avoiding people. Mine. I saw that, and I was sad. I was like, hey, there's somebody coming. Oh, it's Hawk. But this one is mine. <laughs> you know what would make this game even better if they had fake item boxes? They need to bring them back. It they used to be on. Where the, where the they were board. awesome. I love it. I loved it. It was like, okay. So, especially if you were able to get the timing right to where you could drop it inside a real item box. Like those double stack boxes, I would so drop the fake ones inside them and be like, ha ha. Of course, when I was originally playing Mario Kart, it was on the 64 and I was in my, I want to say my late, no. my late teens. Yeah, it's like all the coins are gone. I got two. I feel okay with two. You got six. I feel a lot better with two now. Of course, there's two more shine thieves in this set, so I, I, I was yeah. You know, there is there is. I don't know what it is about the NPC sometimes, but they really just go, hey, you know what we're here to do? We're here to make sure that you don't get a good healthy dose of cereal this morning. And of course, it's getting kind of late where you're at, Hawk, if I remember. I know. So, <laughs> that's our advantage, stateside people. I'm now, so I don't care. Oh! Oh, well, that's awesome. You got anything planned for holiday or? Ah, uh, just trick or treating with my cousins. Oh, that's awesome. So, if not a lot of people decorate over where you're at, does yeah. it make it hard to trick or treat? Like, not really. Not really. So people keep just the porch lights on and all that. Everyone's gonna okay. have some pumpkins, right? Yeah. True. Roy, go away. Your strategy for this mode is still not that uh, finessable. It's like get the 10 bombs, look at the map where there's a cluster of people, go through and just make a. Yeah, me and Roy are tying, which is not good. Oh, Can that's definitely not good. Oh, never mind, I'm in the lead now. Come here, boy. Well, I also went up to Roy and just carpet bombed him, so that kind of helps. <laughs> oh, I missed you. Oh, it was so close. It was so yeah. close. Ah, uh, send me the Alright. I gotta say, though, I, I like the way you said you missed. It, it reminds me of... This old, old comedy skit uh, called Boot to the Head, or also known as Taekwondo Leap. It's about this um, martial arts master who's teaching a, a course, and the course is called Taekwondo Leap, and the only martial arts move that the course, the, the actual art has, is kicking somebody in the head. Okay, I'm off team speak now. Off team speak, alright. You don't know what's up tonight, but you're playing terribly. Red, we all have off nights. Trust oh. me on that. 
Um, by the way, you know, you remember the Hammer Island from Game yes. 2? Did you yes. check it out? I did not have time this week. I One of the things I was hoping to do with my extra time yesterday morning was to check that out and get kind of a good idea of what's going on with it. Uh, fair enough. But, unfortunately, when I was coming home, I wound up sitting in traffic for two hours <laughs> instead of getting home in, like, 30 minutes. Um... So I was like, oh, wow, I've got, you know, I've got this amount of time. I'll be able to do these things. Oh, there's a little bit of traffic. So let me go ahead and just tell everybody that I'll have to run some errands this morning because why not? And then the traffic went from like, you know, a 10, 15 minute impediment that was going to cause me to miss my screen time to two hours. And I was like, oh, wow. Gotcha. Like, I got a, a text message while waiting in traffic from Digger going, did I forget you saying that you had something to do this morning? Because you're not home yet. And I'm like, so I just picked up the phone and called her. I was like, yeah, let me tell you what's going on. It was crazy. Apparently there was, uh, as best as we could figure, some sort of chemical truck on the highway. And that shuts down a lot of stuff when that happens. And the, one of the closest roads we live to is a huge thoroughfare in this the metro so it makes traffic bad in general but where the highway crosses this road is where the accident occurred so it shut down like the main road and the town we live in and the highway mm -hmm. and so i had to take the highway like to the next exit and it was all backed up and since they had to shut the highway down it was like um, a five lane portion of the highway shut down to two lanes which, oh god, shine yeah. thief on this map. Shine th oh. Of all the battle mode courses, this one's the one I really... It's a, Why it's a cross up. Why and spawn it from the shine? What is well, going I'm, on? I'm, I'm, I'm spawned nearby it too. I'm okay with my placement. I think I'm actually closer than you this time. That's negative, you, sir. You actually might have been further. I, I missed my, my boost start just by a little bit. And I know you hit it. Oh. Oh, wow. Somebody tagged you. Oh, and you're over the ramp. Oh, wow. It went over the it ramp. It went over the ramp. Oh, my gosh. And I went over the ramp chasing it after. I was like, oh, you just got tagged. Who's got it? Who's got it? Who's got it? Oh. Oh. Oh, man. So I, I know your disdain for the baby park course. Could you imagine something similar to baby park for battle? I, if I think about it hard enough, I think it might be this course. Oh. You're so far away. Random NPC, get that man. Nope. Oh, banana shield and everything. <laughs> I almost, I had the mushroom at the last second. I popped it and I ran over the banana pill. Uh, game the lead. Oh yes, yes. Good game. Good game. If you see the stream in the background, you can see the shine like above my head. That's how close I was to getting it at the last second. <laughs> there I am. Ah. Oh. Got that crown on your head. Looks pretty good. Well, Just kind of handed it, it to you. It, was, it, was, it does suit your color. It was getting heavy on my head. My, my digital virtual head that has nothing to do with... Okay. I need to not be on Hawk's team. And the computer can't even give me that. <laughs> that's, the, that's the thing. That's... The computer, when you have these team modes just randomly doled out like this, they usually put first and second place on the same team. So I was really surprised the first time we did this that you and I were separated. Because, like, hey, if you were second place and thinking you might be able to get first in this, in this game mode. Yeah, there's two boos. Which makes finding red really hard. <laughs> we gotta find, the, we gotta find the, the red boo. Lucky. Oh, we are we're getting a little lucky, but not too much. 
Well, there's Brayden, Brayden snagged, so... Oh, Brayden joined in. That's why there's two boots. So yeah. there's just a Roy left. Oh, oh, I just ran right by Roy. Got him. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Oh my gosh. GG. We did it. We did it. We did it in like 20 seconds to spare. Yeah. 24 seconds. It I can told be you done. it can't be done. It's not common. <laughs> but it can't be done. Oh, thanks for the GG there, Sunny. That was that was a little bit of a nail biter. I think we got like maybe five more courses left on this night's sudden death. Coin runners and mm -hmm. yeah. on Lunar Colony. Hmm. A oh, little Tanuki Mario there. Sally is with us in spirit. She usually runs around with the Tanuki Mario costume. So one thing I didn't quite know um, is Tanuki Mario and Raccoon Mario are, are two different Mario's. Uh, what? Like, yeah, there's Tanuki Mario, which is the raccoon suited Mario with the tail and all that. And then there's Raccoon Mario, who just has the ears and the tail. And they're actually two different power-ups, apparently. Well, it was yeah, really... You can think of a bit like that. Yeah, it, it's really weird. Well, the Tanuki Mario and the Raccoon Mario both are in Mario 3. And the Tanuki suit will give you the you know, the statue ability, where you get down in the and become a yeah, statue. Yeah, press down and that. Yeah. But I never really realized, like, my brain never apparently put that as headcanon until I was in the store the other day, and they had all these Mario figurines, and I was looking at the back, and it's like, and there's Tunuki Mario and uh, Raccoon Mario. I was like, wait, what? They're not the same? And I and I looked through them, and sure enough, there's, like, a Tunuki Mario and, like, two Raccoon Marios kind of flanking it, and I was like, oh, that's weird. I know. I always thought they were the same, but one evolved. <laughs> What? Mario is evolving. Cue the Pokemon music. Yeah, You're level one Mario suit evolved into level one hundred. Yeah. <laughs> Chadley's raid. Oh my gosh, we're being raided by Chadley. Brian BD, thank you for popping in for Chadley's duck raid. We'll see if we have some other raiders popping in. I'm sure Chadley will be popping in a little bit. Chadley's Raid. Oh, Sea Dog 616 Jeff Harbaugh. Oh, welcome to the Turtle Club, guys. We are racing Mario Kart on what we call our Sudden Death Mode. It happens toward the end of our stream, so we do one-minute rounds in, in battle. It gets crazy. We got three rounds left on it. I've been absolutely welcome to the channel. Friday nights on Convertible Turtle Gaming, we stream with our actual subs for two hours from 7 to 9. But thank you for the raid. Appreciate it, everybody for popping in and saying hi. Chadley's raid. There's Chadley. At Edwin Galvin. Thank you for the raid, guys. Chadley, I, I, YouTube is not giving me any of my notifications. Like I didn't even get a notice that Chadley was live. But Turtle Club, if you oh Easy L O two one Rudy the Duck. Hey Rudy. Friend requests are flowing in. We will accept all these friend requests, guys. Uh, actually, as soon as we're done with this battle, since we got two more after it, we will go and quickly accept any friend requests that have popped in. But welcome, Raiders. Uh, we are a family-friendly game channel here. Oh, and Nightbot is the timely Discord plug as well. We do have a Discord very similar to Chadwick's. Thank you. Thank you, Ducklings, for I'm popping just in. Bye -bye. Second. It's really all you can do, Hawk. That's really all you can do on that one. And you still manage to just, you know, explode everything. All right, and we're going to try to do this without getting calm errors. So Mario is a easy yellow 2 one. We are doing pretty good. Sea Dog 616 with the quick friend request there too. I love it. It looks very um, Bob Ross esque with the way the the me looks.
got to get that random choice in there because the timer was going down. But in Turtle Club, if you don't know who Chadley is, Chadley is a family-friendly streamer just like we are. He, just like us, also has a secondary channel where he does some mature audience content. And he does that on Twitch as Old Man Chadley, and he does that on YouTube just as Chadley. As a recreation of a me you made years ago. It looks it looks amazing. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is, is pretty good. Um, the netcode has the same issue that a lot of Nintendo Switch games have. Which is, they don't have netcode. <laughs> Uh, I think Splatoon is the only game where there's actually servers involved. Nope. No, okay. You there's would not know that for playing it. It's all peer-to-peer. -peer. It's all peer-to-peer. -peer. And that's that's great, for the most part, for people that have, like, super high-speed internet. And who super high-speed internet with low jitter, yeah, low latency. That's why, that's why I fought Boo. Back off. <laughs> you really want the game you can't afford it? You bought Smash. Oh, yeah. Smash is a great game, too. Um, Smash is a really good two-player game. Three-player game, it gets iffy. Uh, Four-player game, it, it gets very problematic. For those that saw Chadley's multiplayer stream on Wednesday, if you want to know where the issue is with Nintendo's netcode, that is a pretty where good... Is everyone? Um, I just passed by everybody. Like, none of them tried to shoot me, though, but I'm okay with that. Oh, I just hit it to Nicky Mario. Go me. Oh, and I missed somebody at the last second. But yeah, so Nintendo has this online service that we're all paying for, but they're not building servers for their games. Nope. Instead, what you get for paying is a phone app, I think, and that's yeah, supposed to allow online. voice chat. You get to play online with friends. You do get the SNES online. You do get the ability to play online with friends, but the well, online see, with friends portion... It doesn't work half the time. Well, it's not compatible for half the games. Yeah, like, that that was a really weird part for the SNES Online. They launched with, what, 20 games? And only yep. seven of them did online? Yeah. Like, yeah, so it's like, hey, here's the actual... And, like, then on the NES one, it's even yeah, the less. SNES came out was like, oh, you want multiplayer games. Let's just give them that. Yeah, and they eventually got to that point. Um... It would be really good if they could get some of the harder to license games on the SNES and the NES online. Really? Yes, that. Where's the shine? Where's the shine? It's in front it's of me. It's on top. Or is it on yes, bottom? it's on top. No, it's on bottom. I, uh, I I thought I would trick you, but I didn't. Tanuki Mario. Oh my gosh. Sally and Spirits. What Still. happens when you try to trick me? That's what happens when I try to trick you. I, I, I pay the price. Mega Man X on it? Uh, Majora's Mask, if we get in 64 games? I, I don't know. What? I really don't know. I hit him. Oh, I... 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 Oh, come a, on. Give me, a give me the shiny. Give me the shiny. Gives it to us. He wants it. Exactly. We're going to go all Gollum. Oh. Oh, one minute. Oh, come on. Where'd you go? You went down the tunnel. Ah. Yoink. I'll go, on, I'll go on the other side. I totally got yoinked. You did like a 180 and pulled out. Oh my gosh. Where are you now? You're going downstairs and then turning around. Ooh, you did not. I did, like right past the banana and everything. It was not an easy maneuver. I was hoping to play Earthbound, but nope, wasn't on there. Um, yeah, Earthbound's on the classic, and they 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 knew what they were doing. Uh, but Breath of Fire, I mean, that's a real game, and it's on the SNES. Who's this Yoshi person that's got the game? It's red. It's red? You red what? Oh, red changed it up. That, what? Like, I'm hitting someone with the mushroom, but it's not stealing the shine. What's going on? It's desync. And of it's unfortunate. It's the Atlantic Ocean is not being your friend right now, Hawk. Oh. Oh. 
And that's the reason why we have issues with Nintendo Netcode. Because of the desync. I saw you hit him with the green shell at the last second there. Do I like Zelda? Oh yes, I love Zelda. I I love Zelda so much. GG's. Uh, my favorite Zelda game is, I've got a top five. It goes Ocarina of Time, followed by Breath of the Wild, and then The Wind Waker, and then uh, Link to the Past. And then after that, it's Link's Awakening on the original Game Boy because I haven't played the Switch. But I'm sure when I play it on Switch, it'll be there. And that's that's my top five Zeldas. And it is a fluid list. It, it is one of those things that depends upon where I'm at in my life, where I'm at in my gaming career, if you can call it that. Uh, but the one thing that never changes is Ocarina of Time is always at number one. Uh, which is one of the reasons why we're playing it in the morning. Every morning right now on Fridays and Saturdays, it's 7 a.m. Is it us? Oh, no. It's... I'm separate. But right. you're also you're also thirty eight points ahead of me, so, so I even think if you you're okay. Not, even if you win or not, I still win. Exactly, exactly. Kek. Mega Man X Legacy Collection being Switch game already? Uh, maybe Easy L two one. You you don't know. Uh, they they've got some games that might be there. But yeah, Ocarina of Time, a lot of people are like, man, this is an overrated game. And when you see it, right, that's that's the big thing. When people watch someone play Ocarina of Time, especially if it's on original hardware, they look at it and they're like, look at these blocky-ish graphics. And, and the dialogue's kind of stilted. And it's doing things that a lot of video games have done now, right? The two-part story... The back and forth, the puzzles, the Metroidvania oh, ness. It was fast. It was fast. And when you add more humans into a team, it makes it easier too. GG. Oh, yeah, Absolutely it makes it even GG. Fun. It, it does make it even funner uh, when you have more humans there. 108 points. 15 rounds, 108 points. That's that's impressive. It's very impressive. GG on, on the races, nice. guys. Um, wow, so it's just a little bit after 9 o'clock um, in an hour on our Mature Audience channel, Convertible Turtle and Chilled. Digrat will be streaming Skyrim, guys. Um, but for tonight on our Family Friendly channel, we are done. GG for everybody. Thank you for coming out and playing. Thank you for the raid, Chadley. Really appreciate that. I uh, just want to say thank you for everyone who come in and said hello today, like I Can Wolf Gaming, Stephen Thompson, DB Master, Poeen Kioma. Um, Steve, as, as Digret calls him, uh, Anju Arden, um, sorry you've been hidden, but that happens. Uh, Alien in the One, uh, our mod who came in for a while for us, really appreciate that. Vulcan Me, who's now known as Banjo Kazooie Fan, uh, who came in as Green Tilda, thank you for coming out and racing with us. Gamer4206, Yoshi Banjo, boy, there's a lot of people that came in today before we even had the raid. Uh, Tato popped in, and then Sally, at starting up the second hour there. Uh, Red the Fox who came in as well. We got some good races in. Some really impressive races. Cause Hawk has been here this whole entire time with us. Popped in the voice chat. Yep. Uh, Sally, we already said Brian, Sea uh, Dog, Jeff, Easy L Twenty One, Ewan, Ewan Govan. I'm, I'm probably butchering that name. I apologize. All you came in with Chadley's Raid. Really, thank you for that, Ducklings. I really appreciate that. Um, it's just been it's been a really just good night tonight. Uh, the only Zeldas you could care less about are the CDI Zelda games. I, yeah, those, those are, yeah. <laughs> those technically have Zelda in the game and Link in the game, but that's about it. The Turtle Club, we will see you on the Maturanius channel if you want to come over in 50 minutes. Otherwise, though, we'll see you in the morning, hopefully. Some more quesadilla with lime when we play Ocarina of Time. We just have this dreaded obstacle course to beat. And then we've got heart hunting and Skotola hunting. And then we have this big guy named Ganon to beat. So we will see you then. Until then, Turtle Club, thank you for watching. Have a good one, and take care. Bye.